the part of the people who are rebelling against the current art system, there seems to be implicit in their argument uh, the idea that what is being produced today is, is very infrequently uh, valid. And um, in other words, there's a, there seems to be a condemnation generally of pop, as you have uh, seemed to imply, Mark, and if you have, as you yourself have written Mercedes, and I think even I may have misinterpreted some uh, part of your monograph, but uh, you had some um, comment in there where you said the present condition of the arts is temporary and there will be a return to an art dependent on imagery derived from the world of appearances. It seemed to be very clearly in all I'm your statements. I'm not sure that I ever said that, but I, <laughs> I might have. But it's in the, it's in the yeah, monograph. It's in the monograph. <laughs> <laughs> that was some years ago. <laughs> but, uh, Have you changed? Well, I think that I change all the time. Yeah. I don't think well, that I anybody mean, would uh, remain. I uh, know, I just mean, and have I, you changed about that? Mm -hmm. About the notion of rebellion. I might say that uh, that I'm somewhat disturbed by your idea, Bruce, at least the, the way you pose this, as though we were reacting against a unified system rather than a system that differs with the individual institutions. If, we're, if we're saying that we're reacting, we're not reacting against one thing. No, I, I don't mean to say that you're uh, reacting against the institutions. I think you are reacting against uh, or reacting to uh, the art scene, so to speak. That is, I think well, you are disgusted that, yeah. with much of the art that's being produced today, and then you say, obviously, its source must be in the art schools. And then you mm. begin to question the institutions. I don't know about that. No, no, I don't know about that either, because there are a great many of the people who ha haven't come through our art schools, so I can't say that, that the leaders of this, say, the pop art, are graduates of a particular school and a particular curriculum, and therefore... When we challenge their work, we're challenging the system that produced them. I, I don't think that that no, would I be don't, a, I, a I, valid. I don't ever attempt to analyze such things, but uh, I would say that that the causes of pop art and the whole uh, development in art are, are not in art education, though I don't think it's entirely irrelevant for this reason, that the uh, number of students who go through art school in and dealing mostly with ideas and very little actual work. I mean, really, a great many people go through art school without ever having seriously confronted the problem of working, like really drawing something. I mean, the endless effort it is to really draw something well, and I don't mean in any kind of a... But this is essentially a conservative position. That is the idea yes. of drawing, and especially drawing well, from nature. Well, to pit yourself against something which is difficult and to work through to it. This, uh, a great many people haven't even experienced, but they've become very stimulated with ideas. Are you suggesting that there's no difficulty in dealing with uh, certain basic visual problems, such as line, color, movement, rhythm, light, shape, Mass, so on. <laughs> if, <laughs> says that there is if one doesn't necessarily, uh, you know, deal with those problems, uh, you know, doing a still life or a. Uh, or well, a I I feel something like Freud did when he said that the, it wasn't that he a priori thought that sex was the problem, but he just never found a particular person with the neurosis that didn't uh, have this person <laughs> sex. Well, I've never found a person who um, sort of toughened themselves with knowledge and, and uh, a sense of, of concreteness, really, in terms of, of painting, who didn't go through that, that process of learning to draw, of course which is not at all in an academic or uh, sense that I mean it. I was going to say there's another way of looking at it, that although this, our, our school of design is based on drawing and you study drawing for three solid years every day, uh, still one might refer to the dry, dull academic drawing of the 19th century where they drew continually and nothing but this draftsmanship came out. It wasn't imbued with this other thing that I'm sure you the want. The only thing that I, I can say about that is that I'm sure that a, a good 
you know, a really a good person who had that opportunity to draw learned something. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I would say that just perhaps morally speaking, the fact that they had to try to do something that was difficult was of some good, even though they didn't really uh, learn any of the, um, or didn't raise any of the issues of, for instance, really looking at something and taking on all the complexity that that uh, involves. Well, I don't know, Mercedes. It seems that your argument would be very tied into the old argument of why you teach Latin or why you teach mathematics, not to learn either one of the disciplines, but to think. Now, would that be no, that's true? I said that that was a minimal advantage. Uh -huh. yeah, that I think that a school, an education in art, which simply says, um, you know, express yourself and has absolutely no idea of just pitting yourself against something that uh, it takes an effort to approach is, mm -hmm. is uh, absolutely flabby and of no use at all.